time, the best place and time to read the Quran is in our Salah. Abdullah bin Amr bin Asr bin Rahman, the Prophet Sallallahu and he requested him to give him permission to read more Quran. As he was spending all day just in worship and so on, so the Prophet asked him then how frequently are you finishing the Quran? So the Prophet also initially advised him to just finish it once in a month. He says, I can do more. So he says, okay, fine, finish it in 20 days. He says, no, I can do more. Okay, fine, one every two weeks. No, I can do more. In 10 days. No, I can do more. Okay, fine, once a week. And some narration, the second narration, the apostles would say, okay, the maximum you should read in a day is in three days, but don't read more than that. So Abdullah Ramadan Nasr, you know, continued this Amal to the end of his life. And what he would do is he would recite to his family members during the day, do revision, and then whatever he read to them, and some narrations mentioned he was finishing every seven days, he would read that to his family during the day, and then at night time he would stand up and pray that, read that in his time. The main thing is that the Quran needs to be recited in our Salah. These so then before Salah, after Salah, if you pray any extra makah, read the Quran that you memorize. So this is something that everyone, everyone should do. Besides that, if you're ready to change it on as a full time or even as an ongoing formal program, part time, you can just sit down with someone and make a, uh, make a learning plan for yourself. What